Welcome to Talia's. I'm Chef Andrew, and I'm gonna show you how to make our famous tiramisu. Here are the ingredients you're going to need to make the tiramisu. Marsala wine, vanilla extract, fresh fruit espresso coffee, confectionery sugar, cocoa powder, bittersweet, coffee liqueur, fresh raspberries, whipped heavy cream, mascarpone cheese, egg yolks, cinnamon, and ladyfinger cookies. Okay, let's get started. First, we're gonna take the Marsala wine and add it to your egg yolk mixture. We're gonna make the Zabayon first, confectionery sugar, and we're gonna just whip that up. And we're gonna place it over the double boiler. This is just boiling water, so you don't curdle the eggs. It's gonna take about three to four minutes to double in volume. Whip vigorously and don't stop. You can see it's starting to foam up and rise, and that's what we're looking for. We got a nice consistency in the Zabayon. It's nice and frothy. We're gonna add this to the mascarpone cheese, and that's gonna give it a nice, rich flavor. We're just gonna fold that in with a spatula along with your whipped cream. And we're gonna add the coffee liqueur to the mascarpone mixture and stir that in. That's looking good. You don't wanna over stir that so the air bubbles stay inside nice and light. We're gonna start dipping our ladyfinger cookies into the espresso coffee, which we have here, fresh brewed, touch of sugar for the coffee, and a touch of the vanilla extract. I like to do the sugar side down, one side only. We're going to layer the bottom of the glass dish with the ladyfingers. So we have one layer of the cookies down. Now we're gonna cover it generously with our Zabayon mascarpone whipped cream right over the top. Then we'll let's sprinkle with a little bit of the cocoa powder and a little touch of the cinnamon and cookies again. This is a takeoff on the English trifle. This layer, maybe I'm gonna put a little more coffee on the cookie, so I'm kind of going in and out on both sides. Back to the mascarpone. I think you get the idea by now. And I like to decorate in the restaurant for a little color with fresh raspberries on top. The tiramisu is completed. Just put it in the refrigerator overnight to chill thoroughly. Here at the restaurant Talia's, we serve it on the plate with the raspberry with a sprinkling of cocoa powder. And there's the finished tiramisu. You can try making it at home or come to Talia's and I'll make it for you. Welcome to Talia's. I'm Chef Andy Bernardo. No. <laughs> Just that. One. No. <laughs> Yeah, I should have went in here. Now you bring it up.